Hi there. Just show me how to sort spreadsheets. Sorting. S-O-R-T-I-N-G. Sorting. So uh, one of the things that I love about Excel is the power it has to sort various items. And so for instance, I'm pulling up here the screen that we worked on before with a whole string of numbers. And uh, this number down here was our total, so I'll make that bold. And I'll even make it a little bit bigger so that it kind of separates that number from the rest. But let's just pretend that I wanted to sort all of the numbers here in this list. All right, now notice I taught you the other day that anything you want to change, you have to highlight first. And the way you highlight it is you click in the first thing you want to do, and then you drag, hold your button down on the left side, and then you drag to where you want to stop, and then you let go. And so now I have this pile of numbers highlighted. And so for instance, today, where I want to learn how to sort, seeing as I have those highlighted, if I hit the sort feature, it is going to then sort these in the way I'd like to. So if you'll notice here, I'm going to make our screen bigger. I noticed last time that it was kind of small. And so you see this down here, this is the zoom feature to take whatever we're working on and, and make it bigger. It doesn't physically make it bigger. Like if I printed it out, it'd look the exact same as before, but visually on the screen, it makes it bigger. As a side note, what I had done up here where I made that 192 bigger, that is physically making that number bigger. Um, the font is bigger when I use these icons up here. So now, going back to sorting, I clicked with my left mouse, I held down, I dragged to the end of the list that I want to sort, and I let go. Now I'm going to come up to the sort button, and when I click the sort button, I'm going to use custom sort. Though you'll notice that you could sort smallest to largest, or largest to smallest, and you can do that, that's a quick one. But I'm gonna use custom sort just to kind of teach you a little deeper for future reference. Because here you have to make some choices and that will give you the big picture. But the first choice is we're gonna sort by which column. So we're gonna use column A. We don't wanna sort by any of these other things, we're gonna use column A. And we're gonna sort based on values, though there are other things that you could sort by. Cell color, font color, cell icon. So we'll use the values in here to sort. Then we're gonna choose how are we gonna sort them? Smallest to largest, largest to smallest, or there's even some other things you could do in terms of how to sort. But we'll do smallest to largest. And then we're gonna hit okay. And boom, it has now taken that list and it has sorted them. Now I want you to notice something. It has also changed our totals over here. You might not have known that, but you see where we had uh, grabbing the total of row four plus row nine. So four plus row nine now is, um, long story short, not working because our equation uh, got shifted when we sorted them. So do you remember how I said, anytime you do something with a computer, you can most likely undo it. So I'm gonna come up to our undo button and I'm gonna go back and uh, hit undo. So it put them back in the original uh, spot we had them. I realized when I was completing the video that my little picture, my video screen of my face was covering the icon that I've been talking about this whole video, the sort and filter icon. So here's a little screenshot of what that should look like. It's this one up here. And when you click on it, uh, you get the sort smallest to largest, largest to smallest, and then you've got custom sort. Now just for fun, while we're at it, I'm gonna go back up to sort. I'm gonna do custom sort again, just to uh, show you the opposite. So again, we'll use column A, we'll do values again, and this time we'll do largest to smallest and hit okay. And now you can see how it quickly puts them all in inverse. Now, I want to hit undo, all right? And I want you to notice here that uh, this is equals 10 and these two are 112. So I'm gonna try one other thing uh, for fun. We'll see if it works. If not, I will edit it out of the video. But anyway, 
before I clicked and held the left mouse and I dragged it down to this spot and let go and that sorted these things. However, I'm going to try something different. You see here on the left of these, this is the uh, row column. And instead of clicking here, I'm going to click and hold here and I'm going to drag down. And what that's going to do is it's going to sort um, everything here. So this three should stay with this eight and this 10 should stay with this 34 and this 112 should stay with the 11 and this 12 should stay with this one. So let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit sort. I'm going to hit custom sort. Again, I'm going to choose column A and still by values and I'll do smallest to largest. And here we go. So the three stayed with the eight, but these other numbers suddenly are different. And the reason is because by sorting these, it changed where numbers were, which then changed the equations of what they were, what uh, numbers these equations were pointing to. So uh, important lesson to learn is if you're using equations, you have to really be cognizant of where those equations are pointing to, because if you sort and you haven't thought that through, you can actually mess up all of your equations. Now, to show you what I mean, uh, first of all, we'll undo, because look at there, we have not messed up anything. We're back to where we were, we can hit save, and I'll even hit close. Now I'm gonna sort, uh, excuse me, I'm going to um, share a different one. We are gonna come over to this. Do you remember this spreadsheet? And do you remember how we had all kinds of equations in this? And um, this one's $5, for instance. So when, when I sort here, and you notice there's second, sh third shift, third shift, first shift. What I'm gonna do for fun is I'm gonna grab here this entire row, and I'll go down to here just because that's where we were doing before. And I'm gonna sort those according to the shift they're a part of. And so I'm gonna hit sort custom. And we're going to do it according to column D, where the shift is. So I'm going to grab column D, again values, and A to Z. Because remember, these are, uh, well, long story short, uh, we will do it that way. All right, I'm going to hit OK. And so notice here we got second shift, third shift, and then the ones that were not labeled are just after that. All right, let's find our $5 one. Our $5 one is still in gear because the equations were all in the same row. And since we got everything in the row and sorted the entire row, it kept all the equations accurate. Whereas in that other spreadsheet, uh, all the equations were crisscrossing rows. And so that's why it messed up the equation. So that's very important for you to see. All right, now just for fun, just to show you another another one here, I'm gonna grab these. And though this isn't really something I would do in business necessarily, I'd probably sort by last name. Um, I'm going to sort by weekly total. And just to kind of show you how that works, so that would be column G and values smallest to largest, though of course you could do the opposite way. And so now it's taken this weekly total of column G and it's sorted them by price there. And uh, there, there's reasons you might do that. Um, so very good. Okay, one more thing while we're at it. Let's use this weekly total thing here. And I am going to grab, I don't know if you saw this, but I clicked on row seven and I dragged down to you know row 15 and then let go. And then I did my sorting. But I want to do it slightly different this time to teach you one more little piece about sorting. I'm going to grab row six and come down here. Now, what's very interesting is if I hit sort and I hit custom sort and I'll do row G again. And if I do column G rather, apologize, and let's pretend I do largest to smallest, but there's going to be something that happens here and I'll show you and then fix it. Okay, very good. So it went largest to smallest, and we were all good. 
but there's something that happened that you didn't even notice. I'm gonna hit undo. I'm gonna come do sort again. G values smallest. I'm gonna do largest. Okay, very good. Um, do you see this little button that says my data has a header? All right. If I grab, if I put that checkbox in there, do you see how it changes the row highlight from six to seven? All right. Because traditionally, if I sort according to this, uh, let me go do it. I'm doing largest. Um, sometimes it will include this T of total down in the, the list somewhere, but by clicking the box, oops, sorry, by clicking the box that my data has headers, then it won't move that row six. It'll leave row six alone. And uh, that can be very handy uh, to pay attention to that header thing. And um, may you have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.